Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test on Nokia 80 Core smartphone. It comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, Adreno 540 GPU, 6 GB RAM, 128 GB storage, 5.5 inch WQHD screen and it runs on Android 8 Oreo OS. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute in the benchmarking test of Nokia 80 Core. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Entry Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Geekbench 4, Basemark X and Quadrant Standard. We have already performed all of these tests to save your time and we will have a look on the benchmarking test scores result directly and we will compare the test scores with the rest of the smartphones as well. So let's start it. So first of all let's start with quadrant standard and here is the test result so it is scored 32267 and this is a quite good score one not one of the best because we have seen few other flagship android smartphones getting around 40 or 42000 so it's a bit low compared to some other flagship smartphones but still it's quite good and you can have a look on few old smartphones appearing in this list and you can compare the result for example the second position is of HTC One X and uh, it scored less than 5000 and our device is scored 32000 so you can get the idea that how much difference you are going to get compared to an entry level like few years old smartphone and you can also watch our previous videos of other flagship smartphones to compare this result to get the better idea now let's go back from here and let's have a look on Android Benchmarking, one of the most popular benchmarking applications. So the score is 209,511 and this is a pretty good score and if you go to the ranking tab, here you can compare the benchmarking test result, the score with other smartphones. So you can see that at first position the score is 264,769 and if you scroll down you can see that our device is at ninth position with 209,511 the difference is very less between 8th position and ninth position but still the performance of Nokia Siroko is quite good it's among the top 10 smartphones on Android benchmarking and if you go back from here and go to the individual test scores, you can see the score achieved in CPU, GPU, user interface and memory test. So you can see that the best performance is coming from GPU because of Adreno 540. Then at CPU credit goes to Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 and then there is user interface and memory. So the lowest score is achieved by memory in this test but our main concern is the overall score and that's 209,511 it got 9th position in Android Benchmarking's best smartphone list. So now let's go back from here and now let's have a look on Basemark OS 2 and it's 3,513 and this is also a very nice score and you can have a look on the individual test score you can see that the performance of CPU and GPU is really good once again the maximum score is coming from graphics from GPU side then the second position is of CPU and after that it's memory and then the web browsing but once again our main concern is the overall score and that's 3513 and as I said like you can watch our previous videos of other flagship Android smartphones to get the better idea that how good Nokia Air Sirocco is performing compared to them and now let's have a look on Basemark X it's a gaming benchmarking test so basically it gives the idea about the GPU performance and gaming capability and here we go the score is 44,434 and this is a really good score and one of the best we have seen. If you watch our previous videos of other flagship smartphones running on the same CPU and GPU you will find they are scoring around 42 to 43,000 and our Nokia 8 Sirocco achieved 44,434 so this is really good and as we have seen in few other tests as well that the GPU performance is scoring the most point in all those benchmarking tests and here once again in Basemark X 
performance of GPU is really good and impressive. And now let's have a look on Geekbench 4. This test is divided in two parts. We have already performed both of them. And here is the result for CPU. And uh, for single core, it's 1948, and for multi core, it's 6801. And this is really a very nice score for both single core and multi core. If you watch our previous videos, you will find that most of the high end flagship smartphones they are getting around 6005 to 6600 in multi core and around 1900 in single core. So, for single core, it's expected, but for multi core, the performance is really nice. And if you go to these individual tabs you can see that our device is at first position with snapdragon 835 second position is occupied by galaxy s7 it's pretty old right now there should be galaxy s8 or s8 plus running on uh, snapdragon 835 but you can get the idea about the performance just by looking at this chart here and if you go to the multi-core here you can see that galaxy note 7 with actinos 8890 processor achieved 5228 Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge they are on 3rd and 4th position and our device is at 1st position with 6800 fun. So the performance of Nokia at Sirocco and Geekbench 4 in the CPU test is really impressive. And now let's go and have a look on the compute test result and the score is 7895 and this one is also a pretty good score. If you go to the compute tab you can see that there are a few old devices. Also Galaxy S7 is there, 2 years old a smartphone and it is scored just 2766 and our device is scored 7895. So even in compute test performance of Nokia at Sirocco is good as well. The overall performance of Nokia at Sirocco in all of these benchmarking tests is really nice. In quadrant standard it was not so good because it achieved only 32,000. We have seen other smartphones, flagship smartphones they are getting around 40,000. But in Antutu benchmarking, it was good. Our device is among the top 10 uh, smartphone in Antutu benchmarking list. And after that, in Geekbench 4, the performance is really good, especially in CPU test for multi-core. Also in Basemark OS 2, the performance is good. And Basemark X as well, as we have seen, especially the GPU performance is really good in all of these benchmarking tests. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, enhancing videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video, have a nice day.